on Sunday nights at 6 p.m. Kiss me on YouTube. Chatting with my sister friend on Tuesday nights 6 p.m. Catch me on Facebook with my sister friend on at the Courtney Night Show. show. Hey, sister friend girl. Hey, sister friend girl. So, we are going to be having a conversation about motherhood. Motherhood. I love my children, as you all know. I have two children. My son, Ella Knight the fifth. And Summer Night, two amazing kids, world's best children ever. Um, what people don't know is that I did not birth Alan. We call him Cinco. Check this out. His name is, we call him Cinco. His nickname is Cinco because he's the fifth generation. When my husband um, had Cinco with his, with Cinco's mother, the Lord spoke to my husband and told him, like, your son is going to have grace. He was born out of wedlock. So, you know, the church people really don't condone having babies out of wedlock, but it happens. So Cinco's name is Alanay the Fifth because he has grace on his life, and I thank God for that. But motherhood, it's a lot. Motherhood is a lot. I work a full time job. I'm a youth. I'm a I'm a rising YouTube star. Um, I'm a fake entrepreneur by night. I'm going to be a full entrepreneur. We're going to look back on these videos and like, yo, she's really killing it. I'm a fake, a fake entrepreneur by night. And I still got to be a wife. I have to be a friend. I got to do a whole bunch of stuff. So, motherhood. I took that very serious and dear and near to my heart because I would do anything for my kids. Anything. One, my husband is always last, of course. And I hope y'all husbands put put themselves last but I thank God for my husband too because we don't do anything unless our children are taken care of we don't do anything unless Cinco and Summer are taken care of I will put this bun y'all see this I will put this on my head just to make sure that my kids are taken care of my husband will not get his locks retwisted for months to make sure that our kids are taken care of and I'm cool with that because that is our legacy remember that our kids are our legacy. And the way Cinco and Summer are about to be set up, they're not going to have student loan debt how me and Al have with no degree. Well, Al has a degree. I don't have my degree, but I got student loan debt. That's ridiculous. I am not going to allow my children to go to school and get all this student loan debt and student loans and fast fund and get the free money because getting them loans ain't helping nobody and I'm still paying for it in my 28 years of living and I just I don't I'm I'm mad about it and I'm not gonna let them do that so one of the things that, I, that I'm doing for my children summer's two Cinco is eight I have them at extracurricular activities I try to sign them up for everything Cinco's gonna do basketball he's gonna start doing swim he's gonna go back to taekwondo keep Keep, I'm keeping them busy. Why? Because that's going to teach them the tenacity to keep going. Don't stop. You have to be doing something to better yourself. And with single being eight, like, he's going to be 18 before I know it. The next decade, he's going to be 18. He's going to be grown, driving, possibly having a girlfriend. I got to set him up for his future. My husband has to set him up for his future. Only great things come from Alan Knights. You hear it? You hear it? <laughs> so, we're setting him up to to succeed to prosper to go above and beyond better than what me and his father did and we're pretty great single has the savings account he got money in there he's a blessed child his godmother holds him down motherhood is no joke also with summer being too she's in dance she about to go to swim because guess what i'm 28 and i don't know how to swim that's silly why why i don't know how to swim and my parents put me in swim lessons and i thank god for my parents too because they well, they were so good to me and i didn't really appreciate it and now that i'm grown and have my own children you're gonna stick to it 
You're going to learn how to swim. You're going to learn how to defend yourself. You're going to learn how to save money. You're going to know how to manage money. That is what we are doing for our children, setting them up for their future. So that's that's their extracurricular. Two, money. They have savings accounts. I take money out of my check to put in there. My husband puts money in their bank accounts. Their, got their grandmothers and their godparents and, you know, friends of the family, if they get some money, we're going to go deposit in the bank. You don't have to spend every little thing. So we have three mason jars. Okay. We have three mason jars. Can you tell about my report? <laughs> we got three mason jars. One is to save, one is to share, and one is to spend. Three mason jars, one is to save money, one is to share money, one is to spend. So what we do, we allow Cinco to pick, what do you want to do with this money? Do you want to save it? Do you want to share it? Or do you want to spend it? And most times he always picks share, which is great. Because to be blessed, you have to give in order to receive. Listen, <laughs> We're teaching them. They're going to know what it is to have money, save money. We got them jars. That is also teaching them the wise decision making. Okay, Cinco, you want to spend it? Okay. You don't have no money to share with nobody because you, you spend all your money. And of course, we still get what they need. But it's still the principle of teaching him, you know, what it is to share, spend, and save. So that's one of the points that we have. And the last point that I'm going to make really quickly is to have friends. You have to have friends. My bishop always preaches this. Relationship is the currency of heaven. As young as they are, you have to have friends. You have to have, you know, your little buddies. They can spend over. They can spend the night over. They can come over. You can go over there. Because as he gets older, you have to go through life with these people. And that's what we're teaching them. Teaching, especially single young you know, sometimes you're not going to always agree with your friends, but y'all can fight and then y'all can work it out. That's how real friendships work. Um, as far as Summer, again, she's only two, but she has her little dance friends, her church friends. They come over. Her cousins are like her best friends. Um, even that, we're in the season right now with Summer where she doesn't want to share anything. Ma'am, you have to share. If you don't share, you, your friend's not going to want to come over. So what you going to do? You gonna share it or you want them to go home and she'll pick she'll say okay look well i'll share which is great but that is what we are teaching our children i will be back with more you know tips and points and little things that we do in our night in our night household on our children are and when they're up bringing and all of that stuff because it's important my little black boy joy and my little black girl magic they gotta know what's going on they have to know what's going on because if we don't teach them at home, the world is going to teach them. And I don't want the world teaching my children anything crazy that they got to learn from out there that me and their father could have told them. So I'm going to have more points for y'all. The game is about to start. My mother just came up here and said <laughs> that my husband is looking for me. So I will catch y'all later. I'm going to go through the whole process of me wanting to start a youtube channel now from all of the other youtubers that i have watched previously um brown scam mommy erin on demand those are my go-to girls so hey sister friend girl hey i love the fact that youtube gives us a platform to really just speak our piece say what we want to say you know promote our businesses i really love youtube for that um, I can really just say pretty much whatever I want, which is great. I have binged on Greenleaf. Do y'all watch that? I love that show. It's so real.